Just a few days ago, I was told that I cannot fly to Austria for the summit because of my heart surgery. But I knew that I'm going to make it because my will and my positive thinking, I always know that I can do it. And so I did it. But what is important is and why I'm so happy today is, is because the surgeons, before they performed the surgery, they said to me that we're going to do everything we can to keep you alive. And I said, why is that? And this is because you are the only Republican with a heart. You're an endangered species. <laughs> and there's a lot of great energy in here. But despite the great energy here, too often at the summits, we make a big mistake by playing the victim. Too often we act like we are losing the battle to fossil fuels. Too often we play defense instead of offense. I say no more. The day we go on the offensive, the day we say to the defenders of the old order, you cannot hide from the future. The day we no longer are the victims, we are the victor. The best lesson of my life I've always learned in sports. And there's one thing I learned very quickly as a weightlifter, which was half of the battle is believing in yourself. If you don't believe that you can lift that weight, you're not going to lift it, trust me. It's not going to move overhead by itself. So ladies and gentlemen, we have a huge weight to lift, but together we can do it, especially if we have that confidence. It is time to start acting like it. It's time for less whining and more action. So stop whining. We must start talking about what is happening right now. And there's a lot happening right now. Right now, nine out of 10 people breathe polluted air. Right now, pollution kills nine million people every single year, 24,000 people a day. So while we're having our conference here today, another 24,000 people die. It kills three times as many people as HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria combined. It kills 15 times as many people as all wars, murders, suicides, and every form of violence. That's what we should be talking about, not what is happening in the future, not the tragedies that's coming up in 20 or 50 years from now. We must share the tragedy of the day. So the bottom line, ladies and gentlemen, is if we keep refining our communications and if we keep sharing policies and if we keep investing in the future, make no mistake, we will keep winning. To those of you who are watching at home, who are nervous about the future, to those of you who resist because you can't imagine success without fossil fuels, we ask you to join us. Everyone, also you, President Trump, join us. You said when you become president, you want to have so many victories that the American people will get sick and tired of winning. Well, if that's really what you want, then join us, because then you will have a lot of victories. We stand at one of the great turning points in human history. All of us gathered here today know which side of history we are on. So the question is, which side will you choose? The losing, polluting past? or the winning clean future. Today, we choose a world powered by green energy. We choose the future. We choose to win. Ladies and gentlemen, we choose to make the planet great again and healthy again. Thank you very much. Thank you.